He can't so. think on his feet. He's got Am a I small looking brain. at the camera? Yes, yes, you're breaking the fourth okay. wall. He doesn't know what that means. Smaller he, words. He broke it. <laughs> yeah, he, he fell into it. Yeah, he <laughs> broke his fourth <laughs> chair tonight. <laughs> breaking um, the fourth wall. Okay. Are you looking at me? You have her eyes. Oh, you can see me? How can you not look the, the at me? The camera's you? pointing that way. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> the oh, Mars Jesus. rover oh, can God. see you. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I cannot believe he's playing Magic the Gathering again. Is it a gathering of 31-year-old men that haven't left their childhood, that still play Pogs, and wear increasingly <laughs> tighter and tighter sweater vests to school? Honestly, I think he shrink wraps himself <laughs> Before class. It's ridiculous. A gathering of what? What? Shrink wrap. This coming from the man who every year goes to something called Meat Fest. It's where a bunch of him and other fatzos take their shirts off, sit around a table, slap their stomach, and eat as much pork product as possible. Ask me if I'm making it up. Ask me. <laughs> At least... <laughs> <laughs> At least we're not playing Pogs with our shirts off. No, you're sitting around with other guys with scruffy face calyx who are really unattractive and have heads way too small for their fat bodies. I didn't know we were talking about Meat Fest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I figured I'd give this to Evan so we can have a picture of his dad in his pre-evolved form. <laughs> Messed up. Is he really playing Magic the Gathering again? What is it, a gathering of 32-year-old men that still wear Superman, extremely large Superman underpants <laughs> and play pogs? I mean, ridiculous. You want to know what's magic? Magic is him getting those extremely tight sweater vests over his fat body <laughs> every day. That's magic. He's a real naturalist. He does love birds. I mean, if you pull his head up like this, you can see a perfect flying V of receding hair. It's kind of like... You I know, have a, a large a forehead. Good, a it's a large forehead. forehead. It's not receding. It looks like a drive-in movie theater. Damn it. <laughs> oh, we always film awesome. You um, can watch Argo on this five head. <laughs> it's not a forehead. It's a five head. <laughs> I, listen, I've always had a big forehead. My baby pictures are really awkward. <laughs> this guy threw his back out doing the worm at a wedding. All right, I Enough my, said. I need some. The way you get him to run, it's easy. You got to put a hot dog on a plunger right off his head and just hang it in front of him. <laughs> Hostess went out of business because Marolo, uh, you know, had a night. <laughs> it was an exciting night. Um, all right, he's, got a, huh? he's got a cream filling addiction. <laughs> Let's just, let, me, let me get my gathering. Can we just take some video of Mr. Tuttle and we can say, listen, at least we're nice to the elderly. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I know the hearing's going. You know what? I'll repeat it into, into, into your hearing aid. Boom! You're having a little trouble talking to me, I can tell. Yeah. Dally is holding food here in case, in case. There's a you know that's not mine. Nuclear <laughs> fallout. Um, yeah, you know how we know it's not his? It's full. And it's <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> All right, let me think. Huh? Marola's crowning achievement in high school was figuring out how to hide the Chinese food from his body. That was a good one. <laughs> this guy's nickname was the Manatee. Because you know what? He was the star of the water polo team. No joke. You know, no joke. But he was not the manatee, you idiot. <laughs> you called me the manatee. He was called the manatee. This guy was buoyant as a cork. <laughs> and he could score from anywhere. Because you know what? He was unguardable. <laughs> it was like Shamu versus humans. Magic the Gathering? He's really playing Magic the Gathering. I can't imagine that gathering of complete dorks, 30 years old, still playing kids' games. You know what's magic? Magic is him getting those sweater vests around his rear end every day. <laughs> magic is the fact that he found a woman to marry him, a lovely woman at that. <laughs> so, this guy is also a lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> he works at Jones Beach and spends his time barbecuing and don't worry when he gets the for help call They tie a big rope around him and send him out like a buoy And then everyone just hangs on and all the lifeguards just tow him in <laughs> True story <laughs> the day Dowling decided to move into Rye You could tell because all the deli owners rejoiced at once <laughs> While he was a lifeguard, Marola developed this little breakfast treat, so, shall we say, called the Marola Special. It involved toasting an English muffin, 
slathering it with peanut butter, oh God, chocolate chips, and banana slices. That was just for starters. Then that would get him to the deli. He would get himself a Hungry Man Hero, three eggs, bacon, sausage, ham, <laughs> hash browns, ketchup, salt, and pepper. True story. And a bagel for the ride to the car. Guys, a body, <laughs> a body like this doesn't happen by accident. You have to put a lot of hard work into it. Subtitle, How to Gain 40 Pounds in the Summer. <laughs> I was just trying to catch up to my buddy over here. Um, listen, if, if you're shooting him, you better make sure you got a wide lens on that thing. Okay, let me turn Panoramic. It let me turn it sideways. <laughs> um, um, Marolo had a bag of about 300 crackers hidden at his desk that he's been stealing from the cafeteria. I have not been stealing. They give them to me every day. I had one thing of crackers. I get two. He so got, instead of he throwing them had out, I enough saved them. Going green. to soak up the sound. <laughs> or feed Dowling one meal. Either way. <laughs> um, look here and look closely. I'm offering monetary reward for anybody that can get video of this guy in a cycling class at the Y. Yes, he takes cycling classes. I'm sorry, I think they call them spinning classes. It's called spinning. It's a workout to music. I did not know people. they made spinning bikes out of titanium. It's There's got to be care. a weight limit on those things. It's for people who care. You know, I'm not just going to sit on my laurels of uh, butter. Little, fest little known and fact. And specials. <laughs> little, little known fact. Little known fact. They actually pay Mr. Dowling at the Y to join the spin classes so it keeps everyone else motivated and say, God, I don't want to look like that. So he actually gets to go in for free. <laughs> so, Marolo asked me to get him a copy of P90X. He comes in every day looking a little haggard and tells me how he's pulled a new love handle every day. I didn't know you could pull love handles. Well, I told you, it was, it was P45X. I did have it. I did have it. Um, they had to redo their back deck because he went out on it and busted it. Try, <laughs> try doing a pull up. <laughs> Have you ever seen the size of Marolo's car when he fits into that crap? You need a crowbar to get him out. <laughs> Are you seriously? I said it first. Fitting in the car. I said it first. Holy, holy cow. You're, you're, you're fitting in the car about as tight as that sweater vest on you right now. That is ridiculous. You talking about uh, tight clothes. What? Shall we recall the moment when you didn't have any pants to wear after the summer of 40 pounds and you and your <laughs> wife spent an hour stretching out your linen pants so true. you could come to school? <laughs> Another true story. <laughs> I, you know what, what I should have done was just ask you to borrow a pair and, start, <laughs> and cut it in half. <laughs> That's what I should have done. I would have been a lot smarter. Yep. Um, <laughs>